Good morning, church. Pastor Caleb here with your fr uh, Thursday devotion. It's Wednesday night right now. We got some storms rolling in. Much needed rain coming. Thank you, God. But I hope that none of you look, have uh, woke up to storm damage or flooding in the basement or anything like that. Uh, but regardless of what you woke up to, here is your devotion for today. Uh, the full passage is Exodus chapter 14, verses 9 through 25. I won't read the whole thing. I'll just read the first part of it, uh, beginning with verse 9. The Egyptians pursued... Uh, uh, context. This is... Uh, the, it, the Israelites have, have won their permission to leave Egypt from Pharaoh after God brought a bunch of plagues. And uh, now they're, they're, they're running, and um, then Pharaoh changed his mind and decided to pursue them. So this is what's happening to him now. The Egyptians pursued them, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots, his chariot drivers and his army. They overtook them camped by the sea, Pi Harayoth, in front of Baal Zephon. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you've taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. But you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, and the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. And then, of course, the story continues from there. That the God makes a wind to blow all night, and it, it, it parts the Red Sea, makes a way of dry ground through that the Israelites can then walk through. Once they are through, Egyptians try and follow, and then God stops the wind, and the sea comes back together and uh, eliminates the, the problem, and it eliminates the pursuers and those who are trying to do harm to God's people. Um, but I really love, I, I've read this story so many times, I, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I think I've read it. Um, I remember it back in Bible school as a kid, but there was one uh, thing, the first word that we hear God speaking in the midst of this is, uh, he says, why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. Like, I, I hear God saying it with this tone of like, why are you at, just, why are you asking me what to do? Just keep going, duh. Like, you know, God's like, hey, uh, I got this handled. I brought you this far. I'm going to get you through this. I'm going to keep guiding you throughout the rest of the stinking journey. Um, but I love that because it's it's a great sign of uh, any promise God makes, God stays true to, and God does everything that God can, that God that, and God can do anything to make that way for us. Um, all we got to do is just keep moving forward. Um, it, it reminds me of a, um, a time in my life I was uh, con contemplating, thinking I was called to ministry, contemplating going to seminary, uh, came to visit the University of Dubuque Theological Seminary uh, with a, on a, on a three-day weekend exploration conference. And uh, one of the prospective students that was there with me uh, was an African immigrant. He said, uh, he said, you know, to, to all of you gathered here, if you're, if you're, if you're questioning, if you're wondering, you know, oh, can I do this? You know, um, if you truly feel called to this, remember, um, God has never failed me once. And, and I really, I thought on that, and that's obviously stuck with me all these years later. Um, and to that, I, I can say that, yes, everything that God has called me to do, God has also enabled me to do it. So if God has led you to do something, then God will enable you with the abilities to do it. Um, it might not be easy. You might get kind of, you know, kind of beat up, tossed around in the process, uh, but God will enable you to do it and will enable you to get through whatever trials uh, stand in your way in God's service. So let us pray for uh, boldness and pray to trust God in the midst of all that God has called us to do. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this and every day, and we thank you for your provision that guides us through every trial. Help us to remain faithful and bold as we go to do your work and 
do those things that bring joy and love and freedom to all your people of the, of the world. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. I hope you have a great Thursday. Make sure to spend some more time in Scripture today. Spend time praying. Wear your mask. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Help others to stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you next time.